What's up, y'all? Welcome back. We're going to do a requested video of, about Greg and Nene Leaks. I believe Greg passed away quite a while ago, so I don't know if there was any specific questions or if there's anything recently or anything. So we're just going to look at her general energy, his. We'll look at their thoughts and feelings towards one another and if we can see anything, you know, in the future about anything between those two or whatever. All right. So show me Nene Leaks current general energy. Everything I say is alleged. I could be picking up rumors. I could be spot on or I could be off a little. Show me the current general feelings and energy of Nene Leaks. So I don't know if she's been drinking a little bit more than usual or if she could be a Capricorn. I wonder what her Zodiac is. I don't know. But um, so I wonder if she has any legal things going on, too, that could be something from the past. All right. So we see her being independent. So maybe she recently broke up from someone. And there is a question or uh, instability, if you will, surrounding work um, or something she's working on. The high priest just wanted to come in reverse and that's sticking out to me for some reason. But let's just go ahead and get into it and see what this is all about for her current general energy. Could have been some type of betrayal recently in her life. Okay, yeah, so she broke up from somebody. I mean, the Nine of Pentacles is here, and that's clarified by the Emperor and the Empress. They came out together, so that's interesting. So I don't know if it was because of some type of gossip or and or because of some type of betrayal between them, all right? Um, it's almost this energy of maybe she felt like he was misrepresenting himself or it could be vice versa, but feeling like she's above it or something, I don't know. Um, so tell me about the six pentacles. Why is this here? It's like, yeah, well, we all know how her, her energy is. Her attitude is just like, whatever, you know, like I'm still that bitch, for, you know, basically. Um, so, you know, she's in the energy of his like, it's not really bothering her. So let me see. I don't know if that situation happened back and forth or what. And I'm almost getting this energy, too, of, you know, I don't know if people are saying, like, she came up off of Greg passing away, but, I mean, she would get something right if she was his wife, so, but I don't know if there's a conversation surrounding that or not. Hmm. So, tell me about, what's that for that? Okay, yeah, tell me about this here. For some reason, like appearances, like not particularly the way she looks, but the what she's doing, like people just like criticizing what she's doing and how she's behaving or something like that. So I'm not quite sure what that is, but um, maybe she is celebrating something that recently transpired in court. Why the eight of pentacles here? I mean, was there some other show surrounded around a relationship, like separately from like Real Housewives or something that I'm not aware of? But also in terms of work, maybe she feels like she deserves more money or something. 
like maybe she feels like other people are getting more money than her that haven't been there that long or something because i don't know it's giving me um very young it's giving me page energy which is basically a child so i don't know if this dude she was messing with got somebody else pregnant or he was like whatever that situation is but it, it yeah hmm. y'all don't have to let me know <laughs> Uh, yeah, because four of wands, eight of pentacles is here. Like there was some type of gain surrounding a relationship. Maybe it's something dealing with the foundation, like an actual house or something. Something about the high priestess. Queen of pentacles and a page of pentacles. So somebody found out about something here in terms of a relationship. And again, it could be a surrounding work and finances. But it's like um, also this going behind the back element. So whether that's just being dishonest or just, uh, I want to say integrity or, or like work ethics. Uh, I don't know how to explain it. Let me see. Give me one more for that. So let me, I want to go over it one more time and then I will go ahead and look at I think I'm just going to jump to her thoughts and feelings towards him and he is towards her. Forgiveness. denial so hmm, I don't know if this is because for so, a little bit of this is kind of making me feel like was this something that happened between her and Greg in the past that one of them um, not only cheated but that was like it just keeps giving me page energy like baby energy but either way let me see Forgiveness, denial, purpose, what else? Oops, relationships, freedom, adversity. So, hmm, I feel like this, these cards pretty much reiterate what I said, you know, in terms of this possibly being some back and forth relationship that she just broke free from um she found out something or vice versa and that kind of ended the relationship so um all right so let's go ahead and look at Nini's thoughts and feelings towards Greg and his towards her and then we'll go from there that might be the end um because the requester didn't give me any specific questions so I don't know but if y'all still here please do hit that like button I appreciate it Show me Nene Lynx's genuine, honest thoughts and feelings towards Greg Lynx. Again, everything I say is alleged. What have been and what are Nene Lynx's genuine, honest thoughts and feelings towards her husband, ex-husband, her husband, Greg Lynx? Nene's thoughts towards Greg. Dang, they keep coming out together. That's so very interesting. So that signifies like a divine match to me. Um, even if it's just on an energetic level, it just it just shows that they were very close, okay? That they spent a lot of time together, okay? And it's clarifying that they were married. You know, you hear me going back and forth, the, the husband, the ex. So um, yeah, okay. So let's see. These are her thoughts and feelings towards him throughout the relationship and currently. Okay, the nine of cups is here. Mm. 
And I really don't do reversals. I know that's the, I say that every other reading, but lately it's been really calling me to do so. And the nine and the three of cups ones to come in reverse, those are very much celebrating, you know, very happy, fulfilled energies. But we'll clarify and see what type of energy is being displayed here. So overall, it's not too bad. Obviously, with any relationship, particularly one that has some time on it, there will be ups and downs, right? So Mm, again, I'm not sure if there is some type of lawsuit or legal um, energies around her and, uh, and or him pertaining to, you know, just in, within a relationship or pertaining to each other. I keep getting this unless somebody is a Libra here or air sign or whatnot. But um, let me see. Yeah, is this energy of making each other's lives better at some point in time or just, you know, gaining some stability. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. So it's showing me that she did feel trapped. I'm not sure if they ever went to therapy or something like that, but um, feeling like he got her out of some type of trap situation, but also putting her in some type of trap situation, if that makes any sense. Again, I could be off, but that's what I'm kind of getting here. Okay. Maybe she went into him at first when he first approached her or whatnot. But um, kind of wanting to give, being interested and disinterested at the same time when they met, you know. But so let's go forward. You know, kind of like when you meet a different type of person and you like, maybe I should give something different a try, okay? you like, this isn't my usual type, but I'm actually enjoying this person's company and everything. So um, maybe she felt like he was kind of slow. Um it's showing up here with emotions and, excuse me. Allergies kicking in. Excuse me. Okay. So I'm not sure what this is alluding to, but it's giving me like slow to maybe finances and emotions, but also alluding to him being deeply emotional. Okay. Mm, or he had a great balance of that when she met him, but maybe they were able to build more being together. You know what I mean? Like perhaps she's saying that Greg wasn't struggling or she could be speaking for herself, but maybe she's saying he wasn't struggling when I met him. He was on his way to building a, a foundation, but we elevated together or I helped him elevate. So um, I don't know. I don't think I've really ever heard her speak about that like that or that I could remember. I haven't watched that show in so long and that was years ago. So why the nine of cups? Um, it's this energy where in deciding on how to move forward with the relationship, possibly in trying times or whatnot. Um, so this could be an ultimate. So say if I'm correct, and maybe it took Greg a little bit longer than she would have liked or whatever the case is to like propose or whatever. This could be an ultimatum, but also I'm viewing it as understanding like when times get rough the benefits or the reasoning behind a marriage, I guess, from her perception, more than just an emotional situation, understanding that this situation currently is probably the best situation that I could be in at the moment until I maybe take action or something, if that makes sense. So let's see.
Okay. Um, I'm not really seeing too much negative, you know, as far as her feelings for him. It feels like they've made, like, maybe she feels like it was some things she done and been and everything that she wouldn't have had the opportunity to do otherwise if she, if it hadn't been for him. So I see a lot of celebrating him. Okay. Um, and I'm, I'm very interesting. Because I see some type of offer now. It almost it makes me feel like I should be thinking outside the relationship or her thoughts towards him and feelings. So I'm not sure. Ah. Okay. It's making me feel like when the opportunity came about for her to do the show or something, that he supported her or something. But also outside of this, it could have been some type of opportunity or will be some type of opportunity for her to have something with work, possibly. I'm not sure what this is. And then the final card. It's just this um, energy of gratitude for looking out for her and being patient with her. And... Um, even acknowledging like maybe he wasn't always perfect or whatever the case is, but them just working through challenges together and teaching each other. I can't really say she really thought negatively of him. And sometimes when she was disappointed in him and everything, when they left and stuff, but um, maybe this was sometimes when maybe he has some financial difficulties or they as a couple have difficulties and she stepped up and made things happen as well. So um, I do also get the little edginess of um, not liking people just solely attributing like her success or wealth to her husband. So I could be off on that, but let me clarify this one more time and then we'll look at what is and has been Greg's honest thoughts and feelings towards her. friendship all so like I said that emperor and empress keep coming out together like that you know the white reason it stuck out for me like this because I just did a reading um a world reading and that happened so I don't know if something's coming out of the news or something already came out that people are talking about or it could just be a coincidence to some degree hopefully I'm not just picking up on that energy because I'm aiming for this, but it feels like they had a genuine friendship, even when things were rough. So anything else? I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. Balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. So, you know, him helping her out of her situation from her perception and also her elevating him by coming into his life. Okay. It's like my yin to my yang. That's what it's given. And then the last card is happiness. So I'm aware that being happy means that I'm on the right path. So they, I feel like they genuinely enjoy each other's company for the most part. And is given something about, so I don't know if they were still together when he passed or how things were then, but we're going to ask him his thoughts and feelings, right? But it's like this energy of glad to have my friend by my side and you being my wife or my husband, you know what I mean? So let's get these up. <clears throat> All right, so show me Greg Leaks' this genuine, honest thoughts and feelings towards Nene Leaks. What has been and what is currently the genuine thoughts and feelings of Greg Leaks towards Nene Leaks?
We didn't get a whole lot. Okay, so we got nine of cups, four of wands, and the six of pentacles. That's it. Six of swords on top with the queen of cups. Um, ten of cups and the three of cups on the back. And I was shuffling it. But um, so similar energy is a again, it's like out of all the years and out of um maybe being confused about who we were or why we were to each other. After that, coming to the conclusion of, again, like that car said, someone's in my life for a reason. A friend is in my life for a reason. It's very much just equal give and take at the end of the day. Um, and it may be, maybe it took a long time for them to get there. Maybe. I don't know why I want to keep reiterating that. But at the end of the day, it's this give and take. It's this harmony type of thing. So let's get into it. I, I guess I'm surprised. I don't know. Is this is the way it's coming up? So maybe I thought if I would have asked this, you know, at the divorce stage previously, then I would have got something different. But this is what's coming up. So let's see. Y'all let me know, like, specifically the requester. Was it something that happened recently that... um prompted you know what i can actually after this kind of look do a search on my other phone temperance with the ace of cups so again they taught each other patience in the long run and there's extreme it's like it's kind of like it took a lot of patience to love her you know but i love her dearly and i feel like that could go both ways here give me one more when they gave us two more. Oh, that is cute. Three of wands, three of cups, and a two of cups. You know? After. Sorry about that, y'all. Again, like, after, like, leaving each other and going through the things they went through, after separating, it brought some, like, clarity, I guess, um, for them just to appreciate each other more, you know? It just seems like they had a great time together, never mind what the past looked like or what, you know, what we thought, uh, apparently. I can't sit up here and say nothing negative right now or, you know, contrary to what's up here. So what, why the four wands? Maybe that's all he choose to want to talk about. Okay. We do got the nine of wands down to the four of wands. So, you know, I'm not sure why they broke up in the first place, but it could have been because of some type of infidelity, maybe, or just grow outgrowing each other um at the moment at that time. But again, after that happened, you know, that separation or whatever, it seems like doing some introspect introspection and understanding that they wanted to be together and that's where they flourish the best um so why is this last card here it was just like we finally got on the same page you know we had an honest conversation and we like got on the same page you know um, but it's also this kind of openness. So I don't know at some point if they honestly, genuinely had an open relationship, kind of. I definitely am seeing some type of betrayal here. So if it's betrayal, then maybe it wasn't open. But either way, again, it's like I'm taking accountability for whether it was cheating or not. I'm taking accountability for my um, portion of pain I contributed to the relationship. And that was that made me better able to understand after I worked on myself where she was coming from and vice versa or whatever. So that's kind of what I'm getting here. Let's see. So he's definitely saying there's some regrets there. Maybe it's some things where they were having issues after some type of surgery. I know he was sick for a while, so um, I'm not sure if that's what caused it because I know that he had gotten better. I, well, I believe. I don't know for certain. I don't remember like that, but let's do these real quick. 
that I'll look on the internet real quick and see. And it's like building trust back up between each other. That's what I'm getting to. Friendship, again, that ended on top. The ones that came out was trust and perseverance. I think trust came out last time, too. I can't remember. But I said that my inner voice will always guide me correctly and perseverance. I know that I can set my mind, that I can do whatever I set my mind to. So it was this willingness for them to work together and so that they could happily be together. Okay. Forgiveness under friendship. And then over here, it's adversity and loneliness. See, they missed each other. And he said he missed her. Adversity, I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. And loneliness, I know that I'm never alone. But just literally for the situation, it's just, they was lonely. They missed each other, you know? Uh, so let's see. Let me just get these up and then I'll ask. Look on YouTube real quick. So uh, let's type it in. Nini Leaks. Red Leaks. So they're saying, okay, that was a year ago, though, said this is why Nini Leaks moved on so quickly. So I'm not sure if that person she's been with this whole time or what it's all giving me stuff from years ago so i'm not sure five days ago nini leaks relationship is a hot stinking mess but, um, um, okay so let me go ahead and click on that one this was five days ago from rrg on youtube oh hold on let me go ahead and skip that please hit the like button if y'all still here i appreciate y'all let me see. Come on, let's fast forward it. Before we open our legs to married men. Oh. <laughs> Oops. We mean before we get into other people's business. Be sure to scoop up something to munch on. At or back in the nineties, Nene was a single mother of one and was in peace. Did you approve of the first wedding? No. Why not? Because Greg was a married man. Oh. We're unable to confirm this, T, but if it's true, he left his wife in the dust and went all in with Nini. She told us weekly oh, that after six months of dating, shit. they got engaged and they became husband and wife in 1997. So that's the cheating, or was it in both of them? Including infidelity. In 2011, they ended their marriage, only to get remarried in 2013. Greg was diagnosed with stage three colon cancer. Sadly, he passed away on September 1st, 2021, at the age of 66. A little over a month following his passing, Nini said in her Instagram story that she had received DMs from several available men. However, she wasn't quite ready to jump into a new relationship. But within a few weeks of Greg being laid to rest, our nosy selves spotted Nini leaving thirsty comments on a mystery man's Instagram mm, account. So they was, the man was judging leader. her movements and everything after he passed, like we said earlier, okay? Um, Identified as because honestly, you guys, like I could be wrong and it could be both, but the energy I'm getting is that it was more so friends than anything. It's kind of like, I know I'm sick. And we love each other. Like, I feel like it was dope, multiple things like that. Like, we love each other. And I want to kind of, for lack of a better term, pass as you my wife. So whether that be to, I don't know what he left his finances, um, what order he left his finances in, but it's kind of like to make sure she good, you know, kind of like that. It was more so than a tight friendship or let's do this because we we all we got damn near, you know what I mean? So it was like that versus, oh, we're so in love and I want to be intimate and stuff like that. Not saying that it wasn't, but it wasn't like for those reasons, like I was trying to say earlier. So let's see. Yoni, a resident of North Carolina and the owner of a clothing brand. Cynthia Bailey's ex-husband, Peter Thomas, is one of Yoni's close friends. 
Peter's the one who's reportedly responsible for introducing Nini oh, to Yoni. God. Three months after Greg made his transition, Nini and Yoni became official. They made their first appearance in December at a small intimate gathering at Nini's Lanithia Lounge to celebrate her birthday. Her son Brent was... So let's do... What type of relationship did, I guess, Greg and Nini have before he passed away? Was there an understanding or were they being faithful and honest? Were they being open with each other? Like, I don't even know what to ask. How should I word it to you? Um, hmm. So let's ask why, nah, I don't know. Give me a second, y'all. <laughs> I'll try to figure out how, what to ask. Because that's the energy I'm getting, like, I don't know. So we'll just ask, was Greg upset when, or is Greg upset that Nene moved on so quickly? Well, okay. Kind of, but not really. Because it's giving me like the two of pentacles here, okay? It's kind of like you could have picked somebody better. Um, that's the type of energy I'm getting. But, um, but also it's this acknowledgement of, of course, that's still my wife. So I'll, you know, I'm still going to kind of feel away. But it's this energy of. For lack of a better term, like, get your rocks off. You know what I mean? It's like, she has needs. And if that's a distraction, you know what I mean? Like, it's like not wanting her to suffer, basically. Not her, wanting her to be, like, super sad and stuff like that. Like, how long is she supposed to be depressed? It's kind of the energy that this spread is giving me. Because uh, then we follow that up with the Six of Wands, Three of Wands, and the Ace of Cups, Two of Wands. Oh, the Two of Wands up here twice. Why is it here twice? Emperor, Ten of Wands, Judgments, Seven of Swords, Four of Pentacles. So it feels like to me, and I could be off, I could be interpreting in this wrong, but it seems like how long is she supposed to wait? I feel like they were very honest with each other, knowing that he was not feeling well. Um, you know, he maybe even told her and encouraged her not to sit around forever. And maybe she didn't expect to want to jump out there forever. But I don't feel like it's the way that we expect a marriage to be based off of the circumstances that they were in, you know. So let me go ahead and get these up and see what else. Also in attendance, which means Nini had already introduced her new boot to her loved one. A few days later, they popped up in Miami to celebrate Yoni's birthday. A source told People Magazine that Nini couldn't stop smiling around the Liberian-born fashion designer. So, you know what? I want to ask, did Greg know about Nini and this other dude right here? Yoni, I think they said his name is. Okay, it's given like no, but I didn't want to know, okay, to me. But let me see what else we get. Okay, so I'm just going to clarify. So this is what I got, y'all. It's the Five of Cups, the Ten of Swords, the Nine of Wands, Four of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. It's, it's like I didn't want to know. Like I was aware-ish. Maybe even if it was just possibility, but like I said, I feel like there was a conversation 
where they had some type of understanding based off the circumstances that they were in or heading into. So let's clarify. It's kind of like I'd rather stay in this mind frame versus, you know. So, um, you know, I'd rather stay in the Ten of Cups and feel and understand what we have and love what we have while I'm here, you know, not dwell on that. So the Five of Cups here is the Hangman, the Justice, and the Six of Cups. Uh, it's almost like this karma type energy as well, but also mainly like I was saying, it's like I didn't really want to know, you know. I, I was aware-ish-esque, but I didn't want to know. So a lot of Ten of Swords, because I knew I only had so much time. So that's what it's kind of feeling like. Ten of Swords, the Ten of Wands. Queen of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. What else? The Nine of Wands, that guarded energy, that kind of disinterested energy um, is the food, the Six of Swords, Four of Wands. Like, I'd rather stay ignorant and be as happy as I could be with the time I had left. I could be wrong. Four of Pentacles is the Knight of Cups. I want to protect my feelings, maybe, and Enjoy the time with the Will of Fortune, Three of Pentacles, Sun card. Five of Ten of Cups. The Empress, Three of Cups. So, um, it could have been a conversation, you guys. Or, you know, again, even say, say we just assuming that she had been talking to him the whole time or whatever the case is. Um, it, Again, it's just that energy of, I don't want you to sit around and grieve forever. You know what I mean? That's what I'm getting with that. Um, I'm going to clarify one last time with this deck, and then maybe we'll listen to another minute or two of that. And then, again, if there was a particular... A uh, question anybody wants to ask, then just let me know. <clears throat> when I crack the deck, I got relationships. I am attracted to those people who serve my highest good. Okay, let's see what actually comes out. One more shuffle. Envy and doubt. Envy is, I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. In doubt, I release the need to know all the answers. Doubt is, I release the need to know all the answers. So that's what is given. Like, of course, that's my wife. I don't want that, but I need to be a realistic. And I want to encourage her to, you know, because I'm not doing so well. That's what I'm getting. Peace. I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. That's for that nine of wands. It's like, again, I'd rather remember us this way. I'd rather stay in this energy versus be fighting while I'm here. That's a lot, but I guess I'll look at them. Anything else besides those? Loneliness on top. And these that came out was imagination, health, death, and freedom. See, it's reiterating. I don't want to think about it. I kind of know about it. I encourage her, uh, you know, I could be off a little bit on that part with the encouragement, but I feel like they had a conversation. Health, death, and freedom. So again, I wasn't doing well. I know it was inevitable and I don't want her to have the burden of feeling guilty about moving on because of me. I want her to live her life. You know what I mean? He may, you know, from the other side kind of feel like, why him, you know, but if, if that's making her feel good in the moment and she's just having fun and she's not really taking it seriously, which it kind of turns into that, I guess, because it seemed like they've been together for a while. But either way, that's what I'm getting. So let's take a, another listen for a moment. The insider added, she's almost like a teenager with him, just light and giggly and feeling those new relationship butterflies. As for Yoni, an insider said he treated Nini like a queen and was always showering her with compliments and putting her needs first. 
While some people were happy that Nene had a new man, others were a bit worried. Some online users stated it was too soon for her to be dating again, and others said she needed to take some time to breathe before she jumped into a new relationship. But Nene told the Shade Room she... And sometimes, typically, y'all, like, when, when we know we know people pass away from not, you know, health disorders, right? But um, specifically, when people are already older and it's kind of a natural and they just health declining, you know, we kind of are grieving regardless when we already have a heads up, we're grieving already before they even pass away. You know what I mean? And not to say, because everybody again had their own perception and their beliefs and we can't force them on other people. Again, we don't know what went on behind closed door and what they talked about, but everybody is different. And she had already been grieving, you know, had already received Greg's blessings. During a oh, see, they said it here. The online stores, Nene said Greg told her before he passed away, be happy, keep smiling, and he who finds you has found a good one. After they returned from their trip to Miami for Yoni's birthday, Christmas was right around the corner. It was going to be her first Christmas without Greg, but at least she would have her new boyfriend by her side, right? Well, not quite. A source told TMZ Nene was bracing herself for an extremely hard holiday, and she had no immediate plans for Yoni to join her family for Christmas. Hmm, maybe he had prior plans with his wife and kids. <laughs> yep, it was soon revealed that Yoni was a married man. Close your legs to married men. You heard me? Close your legs to married men. So if the... And we're going to end that right there. If y'all want to go and finish watching that clip, that is from RRG. Um, that's all it's called. Capital R, capital RG. So they have one. It's like eight minutes and 22 seconds. Um, that's the only one since we were scrolling right here that I see that was most recent. But all right, y'all. I'll let y'all later.